Caller, you live. Oh, hey, how are you? Thank you for taking my call. Okay, who's this? Uh, Who? This is Jason calling in. I just wanted to know what you guys felt about the Not Even a Show doing cold opens now to the episodes. I was wondering if that's something you guys would be interested in being a part of. What was the question again? Would you be interested in being part of the cold open for the Not Even a Show? Uh, I'm not quite. I'm not quite sure. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what you mean. I don't understand. In other words, you have perfect. A... Let's start the show. Welcome to the Not Even a Show. We've got fun and games. We've got everything you need. And my name is Chris James. Wow. Okay. That was very cool and very good. How's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode. I'm here in my wonderful time machine. I've taken it back to the year 1993. I had a great plan to teach myself all of the new modern mixed martial arts techniques and then go back to UFC 1 and use them on my opponents to totally blindside them and win the tournament. Well, it didn't exactly work out the way I thought. I lost in my first fight in the first round in the first second. I was knocked unconscious and nearly killed. Turns out these guys are very tough and I'm not. And that's the first thing and the most important thing. But the most important thing right now is this episode we've got for you. And we've got a great one. As we've got a new sketch called Jost's Toots. Tutorials in parentheses. Plus calls from the tailgater as well as Techhead Terry. Plus the return of Slimy Bung. First though... Wayne Allen Root is one of the scummiest scumbags on the entire planet and he does a one hour program every day where he talks for 20 minutes and does 40 minutes of commercials and we got on twice with him and really pissed him off. Check it out. Let's take some calls. Let's take, uh, let's take the Toronto call from Canada. Tim in Toronto. Tim, you're on with Wayne Root. How are you? show so far hey thank you what's on your mind tonight uh, well i gotta say that as a canadian i get more and more sick to my stomach hearing about what's going on down there with you know democrats like beto pushing insane anti-trump rhetoric every day you know trying to turn your country socialist but what about you guys crazy what about you guys with trudeau oh, you already have that problem right <laughs> I know we're, we're going the same way and yeah. you can call me crazy, but where I come from, if you want to earn a living, you uh, get up in the morning, put on a bad suit and hawk fake brain pills to low IQ milk breathers on a glorified infomercial. <laughs> in, in any case, let me ask you a question, Tim. Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what Tim was talking about, but anyway, I think, I think maybe Tim was like a plant who was trying to say something nasty about me, but he said it so fast. I didn't even understand what he said. Put on a bad suit and hawk fake brain pills to low IQ milk breathers on a glorified infomercial. But he did at one point say that Canada's going the way of the United States. I thought he was a conservative. Not quite sure what his intent was there. But let's take Jason and Idaho on line two. Jason, you're on with Wayne Root. How are you? Hey, Wayne. Uh, man, I'm so glad I could get on with you in between your pill grift ads, you big bloat. <laughs> I got him. I got him. You know, no the, the whole key to life is when you annoy liberals and you make their heads explode and they call in to say something nasty. Do you know what that means? Boom! You, you nail them. You, you nail them. Boozai! You're right over the target. It means the flack is heaviest when you're right over the target and the bombs are dropping from Wayne Root's mouth and Donald Trump's mouth and they're going right onto the liberal uh, cities where they live with filth and rats and drug needles and poop and pee in the road. Boom! I guess a few liberals have actually caught on and now they're thinking to themselves, let's annoy Wayne. Well, you're not annoying me. I love it. 
Joe Murray has a YouTube channel of his own where he gives tutorials on different technical aspects of the computer and he's really helpful and we thought we would play one of his tutorials now and it may be helpful to you and you may also enjoy it and might even have a laugh as well. Check it out. Jost here uh, with another tutorial, uh, this time uh, for Final Cut. Uh, if you like the channel, please do smash that like, that subscribe, and uh, give us a follow, give us a share. Uh, but today we're going to learn about the color correction function on the new uh, Final Cut. So I'm just going to first, uh, sorry about the left channel as well, that's a, that's a quick time issue. <laughs> uh, but first I'm just going to grab a file here, uh, an image that I want to use. Uh, we'll just open it with uh, Final Cut. So I'm just going to uh, pull up my project files. I believe it is in Project Files 3. Is that it? Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry. Is that the one? No. My apologies. Uh, okay, no, that's not it. What the fuck, man? Okay, uh, might be in two, yeah, is that it? No, that's, what the fuck, man? Uh, no, why would it? Okay, this is fucking, okay. I think it must be uh, four, then. yeah, that must be it. What the fuck, man? Okay, what we'll do is we'll just go uh, online and grab the image again. Uh, we'll just minimize this and yeah, just okay. Hang on. <coughs> just pull up a new tab here. What the f Okay, let's, why are all these tabs being used? Okay, and I don't know who was on the computer, why there, this is, <laughs> this is not, I wasn't looking at <laughs> for this. Let's pull a new tab uh, up. Okay, let's get a new Google if we could and uh, what the fucking hell? The tailgater tried unsuccessfully to call into another show and now he knows that the only place where he's comfortable and safe is with his old pal Patrick Netherton and his call screener Rogers. He calls in and talks about a new tip he got from his pal, Billy Bloats. Check it out. Phone call or do we go to break, Rog? You tell Let's take the phone call. All right, let's take the phone call. 318-320-1130, 318-320-1130. Gator joins us. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? St. Patty. How's it going, I'm, man? I'm good, man. How are you? You know, that guy Rogers, I'll tell you what, he might be a bit of a swashbuckler, but when he answers that phone, he's the most professional guy I've ever heard. He said, oh, ex excuse me, good afternoon. Uh, you're you're calling the radio station. May I please help you? Yeah. <laughs> it's very, well, very actually, you, you don't have enough accent, but other than that, it was a, 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 it was a perfect rendition. Yeah, thank you very much. So I've been out watching the sports. I was at the hockey rink last night watching the hockey match. <laughs> which which hockey match? Uh, I was the NHL one. I kept telling him, "Hey, hey, turn up the heat!" It, you know, I said, "Hey, someone turn the heat on." <laughs> you didn't... yelling it pretty. I would say pretty much pretty consistently throughout the whole game. <laughs> you didn't uh, you didn't flash anybody, did you, Gator? I, I just want to make sure nah. you were you were on your best behavior. Well, I mean, my hey, my best behavior probably get you locked up for five to ten. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a new uh, tip. <clears throat> That's what I'm calling about. Okay. I learned a new tip about watching sports from my friend Bobby Bloats. All right. His name is Bobby Bloats. We call him that because he's so red and bloated. I, we, I don't know why. I mean, I have a guess, but continue. So we call him Bobby Bloats. And, uh, and Bobby Bloats said to me, he said, Gator, you know the worst part when you go into the sports match you got to keep going up you're drinking all the brews you got to keep going up to the to the men's room right you're missing all the games and, and and so bloats has got this great idea he says you know what you do strap on an adult diaper yeah 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 well they you know they have uh they have little 
uh, like funnel bag contraptions now that that will allow you to to stay in your seat during events like that, and you don't have to actually pee on yourself. You just pee into a little funnel and it like travels down and ends up in a bag. Yeah, I just put on the diapers, and and I'll tell you what, it's revolutionized things for me. As I said, Bobby Bloats, you you have done it again, my friend. And and now and I started thinking to myself, St. Patty, I started thinking, why am I only doing this at sports games? I st- I'm wearing them here all the time now. But here's my question, Gator: Are you are you just number oneing in there, or do you do you drop a load in there as well? I mean. I'm not. I mean, when I. I mean, when I'm. When I bust a load, on, that's a different situation. But I do poo in there. Yes. I. I change them out though about once per week. Change it uh, up, and now I don't even have to mess with bathrooms at all in in the least. And it's cut it out of my life, sir. And I. And I would say to anybody listening, I would suggest it. Diapers. Diapers right. will revolutionize. Revolutionize your life. I got to run now, uh, Patrick. I am at my uncle's funeral, so thank you for taking my All call. Right. See you later. Well, I hope he's wearing a diaper. Your uncle's funeral. You know what I always say about uh, – about Rogers, you know what I always say when people ask me if, if, uh, if they should wear adult diapers? Depends. Take a break. Slimy Joy is a part-time prank caller who believes the funniest thing you can do is call into a show and say the most disgusting phrase in the history of mankind, Slimy Bung. Slimy loves calling Michael Dukes, a local radio host in Anchorage, Alaska, and a man you're about to watch get slimed. Check it. Five zero three two nine eight forty five forty. Let's go over here. Good morning. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Slimy Bong says. What? All right. Um, uh, uh, let's. Uh, we'll continue ahead here. Somebody's got uh, uh, a juvenile sense of humor this morning. Five zero three two nine eight four five four zero. Uh, we'll uh, continue ahead with your phone calls and more. Five zero three two nine eight forty five forty. Let's go over here. Good morning. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Slimy bug, slimy, slimy, slimy. Wow, wow, wow. Man, somebody has really, really got a lot of time on their hands this morning. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 503-298-4540. 503-298-4540. Is the uh, is the phone number if you would like to uh, sound off this morning and jump into it? We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, hit us with it. Let's go back to the phones to see what you have to say. Good morning. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Are you with me? Yeah, I'm here. Slide me bum. Okay. Hit us with it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, you're you're like twelve, and you've got, you know. You're like 12, and you've got, uh, uh, you know, nothing but time to kill in the morning. Uh, all right, let's uh, continue with your your guys' phone calls that apparently, you know, where we can actually have a conversation about something instead of, you know, what 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 whatever whatever that problem is. 503-298-4540, 503-298-4540. Techhead Terry really loves tech, and not like in the way that you might, but like in a really serious and possibly problematic way. It keeps him up at night, and he just absolutely loves and lives and breathes it. Check it out as he calls Mark Dion and talks tech and really, really bears his soul. Check it. Let's take a call. Hi, you're on with Mark Dyan. Talk to me. Hey, Mark. It's uh, Terry here calling in, looking to talk tech early in the morning. Okay. Yeah, you left me on hold for a while there. I wasn't sure if you are going to take my call, but here we are now. What kind of mic y'all working with there? You sound great. It's honestly delicious in the ears right now. <laughs> really? Uh, no yeah. one, no one ever says that. But I don't know what kind of mic I'm working with. I, I am like the least tech guy in the world. 
Um, yeah. And, 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 and that, I think most of that is just because I've always worked in places where you, are you a tech guy or do you do that for oh. a living? Oh, Mark, you, uh, that is an understatement. I'll be honest with you, uh, to be completely honest, man to man, I haven't slept. I've been up all night because sometimes I'm just up thinking about tech, thinking about how it all works. You know, before you ask, no, I do not use drugs or alcohol. The only <laughs> drug I need is tech. Yeah, see, I, I always worked in places where there was a tech guy. So yeah. you use the stuff. Like, I've worked in newspapers, and, and you had, like, a computer system worth, you know, millions of dollars. And Ooh, yeah, I used it like a big computer and we, or like a big typewriter. And when something went wrong with it, I just said to somebody, Hey, uh, can somebody get the tech guy this thing and work it? <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's hey, that's where I'd come into play. That's where I'd enter the equation. I'll tell you what, though, Mark, if you turn around and look behind you, there is an absolute overload of tech beauty. It is an absolute cornucopia of tech behind you. Oh, yeah, there is. Old school stuff. It looks great. It is making me excited. I'm getting probably too excited, and I probably have to stop watching. Thanks a lot, Mark. You have a good day. Take it easy. The important thing about local radio is you got to deliver something for everybody, right? Or you should try. I try to do that. What? What'd you do if Terry called you? Would you get bored and hang up on him? Lend him your ears and he'll talk tech with you. Hopefully you can talk some tech too. Oh yeah. everybody that's the end of this program they won't let me do the comment of the week anymore you need to write into your local councillor your city councillor if you're in america you're a local uh president of the local city council just learning about american politics trying to figure that out thank you so much for watching go over to patreon.com slash not even a show this week's patreon episode is honestly one of the best it's got a great man cave call a great knock em dead comedy call and a great connerton call that's right three green hosts for you you're gonna love it by the way we're going to los angeles that means there will be no program next week but there will be a super cut for you and we're going to have a lot of fun and learn how it works in Hollywood and bring back some of those Hollywood tricks and tips for you. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Bye.